Shalom, Shalom. In today's video, man, I'm talking about a very common question that men and women often get asked in dating if they have made it known that they have children. The question is, do you have any baby mama or baby daddy drama? Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yash Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that business. Man, oftentimes people are setting themselves up for the okie doke or to be let down by asking that question. Do you have any baby mama or baby daddy drama? And I'm gonna explain to you why. You know, in this daytime and hour with single fatherhood, you know, increasing and single motherhood at its all time high, it's not, it's not uncommon. It's very common for, you know, adults 25 and older that are dating and courting. Uh, it's not, it's not uncommon for people that age to have kids, you know, some one or two. And, and I've got multiple videos out on single motherhood and single fatherhood, but today I'm gonna give you some tips, you know, from experience, from experience on how to navigate this so you don't let yourself down or set your expectations too high. Now, at the time of dating, I want you to understand that the co-parent on the other side might be acting normal. And it's oftentimes not until the person you're entertaining, you know, you get serious about to where the craziness really takes off from a man or a woman that's a baby mama or a baby daddy. That's when it takes off. You know, when the kids are coming back saying, yeah, we had a good time with, with Michael or, or with Sheila. And that report makes it back to the co-parent. And then you have... Uh, this other co-parent that, that cannot deal with that emotionally and goes off the hinges. Now you're dealing with all this chaos and all of this foolishness. And I'll tell you, man, a better, and I'll tell you as a man or a woman, a better question to ask is, what are the boundaries that you have set in co-parenting? What are the boundaries that you have set in co-parenting? This is so you can get an understanding of what their co-parenting relationship looks like. And if there's not any boundaries, man, that's gonna be a high risk situation. There's gonna be all kind of access and lines of communication that you may not be okay with. You know, a, 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 a common co-parenting situation is, uh, do they talk on the phone daily? Do they have casual conversations? You know, at all time around, because if there's no boundaries, at some point you're gonna be like, man, this is strange. This is strange as a man or a woman. If it's over and that was the end, why all this access? I'll tell you, with my with my ex-wife, with my child's mother, I'm very thankful for the the court system because when I did uh when I filed for divorce, you know, and did my own divorce, I didn't even fathom that you needed to have some of these boundaries in place. But it was after doing, uh, going to arbitration and things like that and, and revamping the visitation and all of that, that I was like, hey, we need to put some kind of boundaries in here. You're not gonna be calling me at all times of night. You're not gonna be asking for all of this stuff outside of the support. This is stuff that you need to ask as a man or woman. What does that co-parenting relationship look like? What boundaries do you have in place? And most importantly, if they have set boundaries in place, is the other party respecting and obeying those boundaries? Listen to me. Is the other party respecting and obeying those boundaries? What good is a boundary 
pertaining to the co-parenting relationship if it's constantly getting violated. And I'm telling you, you got both men and women that do this. There's boundaries in there uh, of not showing up unannounced to the house, all kind of boundaries you need to be, because here's the thing, man, I've had situations, I've had situations where I've had to pull the strap on people because I didn't realize their situation was as unhinged as it was. I'm up in there laid up, you know, uh, in my sexually immoral act, this is a, uh, uh, many years back, you know, I'm up in there laid up in my acts of sexual immorality and here comes a, a knock on the door in the wee hours of the morning and I, I, I'm thankful that I've always carried the strap on me. I've always carried some heat on me, some protection, but this is the stuff you don't want to find yourself in between. You know, out of those boundaries, which one uh, is the one that gets violated the most? And that's gonna give you an idea, okay, this person is trying to set boundaries, but they've got somebody that does not respect their boundaries as a man or a woman. And you don't wanna get caught up in that. Now, if somebody has their stuff together, hey, these are the, these are the boundaries, they know not to call after eight, not to call before, you know, nine in the morning, you know, not popping up on the house, you know, all of this stuff. There's so many different boundaries. Uh, we will communicate via text for, for uh, you know, basic information of dissemination, you know, uh, in the event of an emergency, this is how we conduct, you know, when it comes to uh, minor medical emergencies, You'll be notified, like, this is all the stuff that you wanna know up front. Because if these boundaries is getting violated, you will be caught in the crosshairs of some foolishness and you will be like, this is too much. So it's not about, it's not about, are you gonna have any baby mama drama or baby daddy drama? It's what boundaries do you have in, in place on your side to at least try to prevent See, where there's no boundaries, there's always gonna be some foolishness. There's always gonna be some disrespect. This is the question you need to ask. And that will give you a, a better understanding so you can execute sound judgment of if you want to proceed with a man or a woman that has children. I don't recommend you proceed with a man or woman that has children and they don't have healthy boundaries established that protect both sides. You got some of these people you might be entertaining and this woman knows she's got the kid, but she still has access to her baby daddy to be able to go lay up over there and all of this. And she's not interested in having boundaries. That's a, that's a huge red flag, vice versa. You got men that have kids that still have access, sexual access to their baby mom. And you're getting yourself in the, in the midst of some foolishness. And I'm trying to tell you how to navigate it and how to avoid it. I've said it before in, uh, in other videos, just because somebody has a kid doesn't make them a bad person or that doesn't disqualify them. You know, it's a high probability that men and women over the age of 25 are gonna have some children. You just have to know how to navigate it. And if it seems too risky, there's just too many things. Oh yeah, oh, this joker like to pop up at your house. Oh, she be peeping through the window. You be like, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good on this at the moment because you don't have a struck. You're not in a place of structure and boundaries haven't been set place uh, for you to be out here dating like this. I'm not interested as a man or a woman and keep it pushing. Close to the Yacht Ministries kicking it gun barrel straight. Wow.